All right, so you guys wanted a tour of the aviaries. So I'm going to feed the birds this evening so they might get a little loud with the anticipation. My mom's gonna come out with me. Um, yeah, this is when they get their pellets. They already had their vegetables this morning. So we'll show you what, guys what this looks like. So we keep all of their supplies in the garden shed. So I get their bowls and pellets out. Woohoo! Go. Ready now? Sure. You started it just now. <laughs> no way. Yes, you did. So the key to keeping our birds from screaming consistently is we try to stick to a non-schedule. So what that means is they get their breakfast anytime before noon and they get their evening meal of pellets anytime after 3 p.m. and before it's pitch dark. So that's the spiel. These guys will be outside until, hmm, until we leave on our trip, then we're taking Comet and Tusa with us. The other two will stay out, Rocco and Jinx, and then we'll actually move our medium-sized guys out here as well. So it'll be Bondi, Bandit, and Cressy out here, and then we were taking Comet and Tusa on a flight trip along with the Sun Conyers. So we're excited. And we try to change up the flight trips. So far to date, Jinx has made it on every single flight trip except for the last one where we just took Comet and Bondi. So on this next one, I'm gonna really focus on Comet and Tusa. So he's not coming again on this other one. Want a blueberry? <laughs> I'd like to give you a blueberry. Shane yes. keeps a stash. It's like an emergency stash of blueberries in the fridge. Does he? <laughs> yeah. He's no, like- I just want to do it because he's being nice. He told me, uh, what was it, last time he was like, well, Rocco got out of the aviary and he had way more fun than I did for those few minutes. <laughs> he got him back in with blueberries though. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, it is morning. So I am on my way to my parents' house to go feed my birds this morning. My parents only live about five minutes from us, so it's a really quick, easy drive. So when you guys see uh, the birds just out for the drive, it's just because it's the easiest thing and it's such a short drive that we're like, Meh. it's all good, it's a quick one. So anyways, um, sometimes my parents do take care of the birds for me, like they'll feed them and give them a hose down bath and all that stuff, and they really tend to enjoy it. Um, but then also sometimes I go and do it as well. So we definitely split it. I just kind of do it when it makes it easier on my mom and my mom does it when it makes it easier on me. So it's a nice relationship. And as for the aviaries at my house, I will, gosh, think things change so much around here. We don't really keep any sort of consistent schedule. So I know you guys are like kind of show me your routine and what it is and there is no routine it just is what it is when it is so at my place what i'm doing right now is the doves are out full time and then i've been putting the three medium guys out in the 16 foot diameter aviary together during the day so they have most of the day outside and i bring them in for meals so that's been fun for them they get to fly around the sun conures have not been out yet i am worried about <laughs> noise complaints with the sun conures so when the weather is like this it's about 40 degrees at the lowest fahrenheit at night and it's reaching high 70s during the day so for the big birds the macaws my toucan rocco they're really really great with that I like to move the medium guys out, which is my galahs and my African gray, out when it's about 45 at night and above. And then the sun conures, I really prefer it's probably 50 
degrees at the coolest and above for those tiny little nuggets. So, so that's kind of where my preference levels lie and we're about there. So the macaws and Rocco are gonna be outside for about a week and then I'm going to, and like the medium guys are gonna be out during the days for about a week and then when we leave on our trip, I'll swap them. So I'm taking two of the macaws plus the sun conures with me and so that will leave Jinx, Cressy, Bondi, and Bandit outside 24 seven along with Rocco at my parents' house. And obviously since we'll be gone, they'll be taking care of them for us. Haven't seen them yet this morning, but I got my breakfast. So Rocco's fruit and the other bird's veggies. <laughs> Good morning. Did everybody sleep well? Good morning. Hey. Hey, handsome can. Hey, Rocco. Rocco, Rocco, Rocco. All right. I'm gonna set my phone down so I can feed everybody. And this is about the closest I can set, you guys. Sorry. clean and we had a little escapee who's anxious for breakfast so let's get breakfast for this little one so excited no girl About to clean some dirty birds and dirty bird bowls. Oh my gosh, cannot speak today. Dirty bird bowls, dirty bird bowls. No soap, just run it on high. Good morning. I'm gonna run and take care of the birds with the other aviaries and then come back here and put these guys outside. It's seven o'clock morning and I'm here to see my birdies at my parents' house. I got breakfast. So I can hear them a little bit. I think yesterday when I came it was like, I don't know, between eight or nine maybe. Good morning, handsome guys. Good morning. Here they are. And yeah, my dad sends a humor with the no hunting sign. He also has an electric fence sign, even though this is not an electric fence. Oh, I don't know if you guys can really see it, but he loves these old signs, so. Good morning, Comet. Hey, handsome. Hey, Zeus. You already in the sunshine? Hey, Bubs. Rocco! Hi, handsome Kian! I didn't show it the other morning, but I simply dragged the hose from over there. And that's how I give everybody their water. And the new dishes are all in the uh, garden shed that I use the dishes from. And yeah, that's how I do the water out here. So Rocco's water is still the filtered water I bring from my house in the big gallon jugs, but everybody else gets the hose water. Or it's well water because my parents are on a well. Oh. The other cool thing about this setup is because it's in my mother's garden, I'm able to take the dirty water um, from the bird dishes and add it to the plants. She absolutely loves that. Um, so I add their dirty water dishes <laughs> to the plants and the plants seem to really like it. So this is one of my seasonal feeding system recipes but I mixed it with sweet potato and that's because their first few days outside I just like to give them a little extra oomph, keep warm. So that's that's what that deliciousness is. Just to comment his. <laughs> yeah! 
got a very happy cam this morning. I'm happy to be outside. It's so nice. You got breakfast. <laughs> Love you. Love you. So this is my cleaning girl supplies. I have my kitty litter scooper thingy and a bucket and I just scoop up the poop that clumps together in the sand and put it in the bucket and that's how I clean the aviaries every morning.